Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> A day in my life. So as you can tell, I am at work with my awesome coworkers, and I'm just going to show you today what I'll be eating throughout my day. So usually I show you what I'm eating throughout the weekend or my days off, but I'm at work today. So I have my water and I had my coffee this morning and I have leftovers from last night's dinner that I made into like a taco salad, which I'll be showing you and also a nice treat for a pick me up during break. But I will show you that here in just a moment. So it is after lunch. I showed you what I had. Um, what everyone was kind of talking and stuff. I just wanted to show you a quick skim because this, it was just quick salad. But it was taco salad from um, taco meat that I had cooked the night before. So I just kind of use what I have so I don't have to go out of the way and make something huge and elaborate. Doesn't have to be hard. Um, but anyway, so it was taco salad. Super delicious, especially with the taco um, Taco Bell mild taco sauce but now we are in line for sonic and i'm ready for happy hour so hannah is going to hold the camera while i order my drinks they have this thing called fruit add-ins that are supposed to be like zero points um someone had posted it on a facebook group yesterday and so i'm going to try it and see if our sonic has it so fingers crossed hope they have it when you're ready oh uh, yes ma'am do y'all have fruit add-ins we like fruit add-ins. Okay, are those like the zero sugar kind? Like they have no extra sugar in them? Um, they're sweet, but it's like zero sugar. Okay, so can I get a medium diet Coke with raspberry fruit add-in? Medium diet Coke with raspberry, what else? That'll be all. 155, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they have them. It was funny, she goes, it's sweet. I'm like, but I just make sure no sugar is in it. Um, but so that's a win. I'm excited, I will tell you how it tastes. So I got my drink and this is a must try. Super delicious, it is something that is refreshing for your afternoon. It's a great pick me up because we're fixing to head back to work. So try it out. It is the Sonics fruit add-ins. They are zero points to any diet soda. Um, about the slushies and stuff, I'm not sure, but I know diet sodas, they are zero points. Okay, so it is 5.23 and we'll still be here for a little while at work. Maybe 30 minutes to an hour just kind of depends, but I'm hungry. So I scanned a, let's see, where'd my snack go? I scanned a Fiber One 70 calorie chocolate brownie. This is only two points. So this is what it looks like. So it's a good little snack, especially that it is, I guess, has fiber in it. So it'll fill me up between now and dinner time. So this is what I'm having for my before dinner snack. All right, so I am home and showered and it just feels so much better. Um, but it is a dinner time, so I am making teriyaki chicken in the Instapot. So I'm excited to finally be cooking with my Instapot. I don't really cook with my Instapot that often, or I, at least I don't show it. So I'm excited to show y'all what I will be doing. Um, so this is, like I said, teriyaki chicken in the Instapot. And then I'm making white rice and then a stir fry or broccoli stir fry from the frozen section of Walmart. It's just in the back. So let me go ahead and go over the ingredients with you and then we can get started. All right, so you're going to need one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Then you're going to need reduced sodium, soy sauce, water, rice vinegar, brown sugar, garlic minced ground ginger i'm opting out of ground ginger i don't like i don't like ginger um and then cornstarch now i'm also using the splenda brown sugar most stores carry it i found it at my local kroger um instead of just regular brown sugar so um this meal serves four people two points each all right, so I have my Instant Pot here it is plugged in but not on. So you're going to go ahead and start with 
everything but the chicken and the cornstarch. So go ahead and pour in your three fourths a cup of reduced sodium soy sauce. This one fourth a cup of water, one fourth a cup of rice vinegar. I bought this at my local Kroger, seasoned rice vinegar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay, so go ahead and stir all of those ingredients together and then we're going to place in the chicken. I'm taking two chicken breasts that I cut into four smaller chicken breasts. I'm going to kind of mix those around. Go ahead and grab your lid, turn it to lock. Make sure your, le your lever here is to sealed, so that's like the middle section. You're gonna go ahead and press manual and go down to 10 minutes. This is the stir fry that I'm using. I got this at my local Walmart. This has broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, sugar snap peas, white corn, mushrooms, water chestnuts, red peppers. I just thought this would be a perfect idea for a Asian type meal. Now, funny story. I am cooking all week within my means. Like, I'm not going to the grocery store. I told myself I'm not going to go to the grocery store. So this is everything that I found in my house. I'm really proud. So I challenge you to try this as well. Try to cook within the stuff that you have. Be creative. And so, as you can hear, the steamer in the back, sorry. Um, but just try to come up with things and find recipes that works with things that you have. It is a very possible and this kind of shows you that it can you can do it okay so my instapot just went off it'll show this and also it beeps you're gonna take it like a spoon to release it because you don't want to do it with your hand and I usually kind of stand back when I do it so go ahead and push it to vent and let this completely release okay now that it's fully released you're going to slide it open and take it off be careful of the steam nice and smoky so now you're going to take out your chicken and shred it so i'm going to go ahead and put mine in the blender my KitchenAid, and shred up my chicken and then i'll tell you what to do in just a second so i turned my instant pot off but now you are going to uh, press saute and you're going to turn that on your instant pot it does not matter what time here I have two teaspoons of cornstarch and two teaspoons of water, and you're going to pour that in. It almost looks like milk. And start whisking. So you're gonna whisk that together to get like a thick sauce as your chicken is being shredded. Okay, so allow this to simmer for two minutes. Once that's over, turn off your Instapot and we're gonna place our chicken back in. Okay, so I went ahead and turned off my Instapot. You're gonna grab your chicken. You're gonna dump that back in there. Stir that in together. Here is the, uh, the finished product. So I have, I have stir fry veggies for zero points. This is the portion of the teriyaki shredded chicken. This is two points. And then the rice is white rice. This is one cup for six points because I have a pretty good bit of points left over. So this is dinner and I'm so excited to try it, but I will be back later with what I eat for dessert. But I've already tried it. It's really good. Dinner was amazing definitely going to be a top contender for me to kind of keep like continuously doing i think that it was so filling so easy um and obviously super tasty but um i'm just going to relax for the rest of the night it's raining it sounds beautiful um here in georgia we are not we're just getting i think mainly heavy rain um but i'm just thinking of y'all for whoever was affected in florida um just to let you know you're in my prayers um but 
So I'm just going to be doing that for the rest of the night. I am going to probably have dessert because I have quite a bit of points left over. I'm gonna probably have a skinny cow um, ice cream sandwich that are six points each, either chocolate or vanilla. They have a multi-pack, um, mostly really at any local grocery store. But anyway, so this was a kind of my day in a work day on what I eat and everything. Um, and like I said, I, I think I showed you, I just start my day with coffee because I don't really care to eat until lunchtime. Some days I have my, I'm more hungry than others, but usually it's just coffee. So I want to show you my normal routine. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for future videos. And I love to communicate with you guys. So I love when you comment. And of course, um, I am on social media. So I have those down below if you'd like to check those out. I tagged my um, Weight Watchers Instagram page. I have not um, been on there a lot. I have not been super active. But I'm trying to be more active. Um, it's just... Life is busy and time consuming, so I'm trying to do my best. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.